Merry Christmas, everyone. I decided I forgot all about this little project till I just found these. Remember the sign that I found? No, all who wander are lost. So it was a typo and they threw a bunch of these away. I wish I had not donated all of them, but I kept three because I wanted to do this project. One for us, one for each of the kids' families. Um, and I should have kept them all. I should have done one of these for Steve's mom. Should have done one for my mom. Should have done one for Steven. I don't know, but I donated them. They're gone, but I'm glad I found these in time. So here's what I'm doing. I've just done my first one. I'm putting pictures of the grandkids on here with Mod Podge. I've never actually used Mod Podge before I, that I can remember. I mean, maybe as a kid. I don't know. I know it's been around since the 70s, as you can tell by the photo. <laughs> They're awesome um, print here. But anyway, so I got satin finish, so it's kind of shimmery. But I'm just cut out photos from... I tried to find holiday themes since the kids wrote this were a while ago. I can show these, I don't care. Um, but anyway, I tried to print out photos. I just did it on regular paper because all I have is a color printer. Uh, it's a laser printer, it's nothing beautiful. I don't even have photo paper. So hopefully it'll last, it'll be okay. But so each of the families are gonna get a couple pictures, you know, for mainly of their kids and then cousin pics, you know, it's gonna be so cute. So each one of these is gonna go on here. So each holiday, like say it's, um, you know, spring, they can put spring holiday, I guess it wouldn't be a holiday, but um, Christmas, how about that? They can put this facing forward when it's Christmas. It'll be so cute, they'll love it. It'll be cuter every year as everybody gets older to look back and see and remember, you know, how upset <laughs> the girls were. Actually, every grandkid has been upset when they've gone to see Santa, but not when they're older. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. It's been really fun. I did this one earlier today to see if it would dry, if it would get bubbles, and it looks good. So I just cut it out. You can kind of see I didn't quite put it on there perfectly. So the worst one will be mine because uh, I put this photo on on each of them so it could be face down when they're uh, drying. I wanted one dry one. So there we go. Um, Adriana's having one more baby, so she'll have to cover one of these up when the baby comes because this is Amanda's uh, because she's going to want the, look at how cute that is for fall. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Valentine's. There's an Easter. So cute. So I couldn't tell the moms that I was doing this, so I couldn't necessarily find, um, I'm sure there's more pictures like ones with the kids with pumpkins. For Amanda's kids, but I got a Halloween one. This can be fall, Eastery, or summer, spring, whatever. So at least there's one for each little holiday. I'm excited. So here we go. Okay. So I just put this on last time very, very generously. I just spread this on here like this. I did it in both directions just to make sure it's all in there. Got a hair in there. Get that out. Okay, super easy. I'm gonna try to follow the same um, angle that the photos went because they must know what's gonna look best. I'm so excited to give these to them. Okay, so it curls up immediately, like it definitely curls up. So I hurry up and get some more on there and smush it on. It dries super clear. I wasn't sure if it was going to. I know it's supposed to, but it did. It definitely dried really clear and nicely. Try to get out any bubbles while I'm doing this. And I'm pushing pretty hard. And it's it doesn't seem to be removing any photo. Okay. Oh, I see a big bubble forming. Two bubbles. Try to push them out. Hopefully the bubbles kind of uh, disappear as they dry. Okay, next I took a foam brush, also from a dumpster, and just kind of wiped it in the grain of the wood behind it, just to make it, um, I'll do it both ways first, to make sure it's nice and smooth and pretty. Oh, 
Okay, then ultimately in the green, wipe the edges. Done. Let's see how this one starts to dry. I still see a bubble in there. Now's the time to get that out if I can. looking at that every Christmas. Okay, next. This is mine. Look at these cuties. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. They are so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna try to remember as I, I'm not super crafty, though I think I like it a lot and I'm learning about it. As we find stuff, it gives me ideas of things to do, but um, I'm not, I've never been a scrapbooker. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not really super sentimental about things, but I sure love these kids and their moms love things, that getting things like this. They're gonna love this forever. And I thought about putting a family picture in there and I probably should have, I still could, I guess, but I don't know, I kind of want it to be cousin theme. Just cousins, because otherwise I got to do a family picture for each holiday <laughs> and that makes it harder to find. For ours, we can just do whatever we want. And I could change it every year, but I know as everybody gets older, you'll never want to change it. You'll just want it to be the same. So I'm just gonna try to do a holiday. Okay, bubbles out, bubbles out. Oh, bubbles coming in. I know a lot of you guys are major crafters. And you guys probably know major tricks and tips, but a lot of you guys might be non-crafters like me, and maybe you'll want to do something fun when you find stuff. If you're dumpster diving and you find stuff, I mean, we might as well do some stuff with it. This seems to dry pretty fast, too, just so you know. Oh, I see a bubble. Okay. Next. Let's do, oh, such a cute one right here. Look at those cutie pies. Oh my gosh. That's Hudson and Ryan. They're the ones that live in Texas. We're gonna see them pretty soon. By the way, don't mention this to anybody in case we post this before everybody gets their pictures because if Steve posts this, um, they won't have theirs yet, so keep it on the down low. Oops. And to cut this, I just used a um, paper cutter, probably from a dumpster. I don't remember. Maybe I had it before. I found a bunch of paper cutters and dumpsters in the past.
It's already dry. Okay, on to the next. Okay, here they are. They are dry. This is last night. They are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Look at these cutie pies. I'm gonna have to wrap them in like maybe some paper that's wax paper or something so they don't stick. In case they're a little sticky, but look at that, this one's ours. <laughs> I love it. I would have just put funny ones on there for all of them, but I know that they are so cute. Look at these cutie pies. Oh my gosh. So adorable. So excited how they turned out. And um, I cannot wait for moms and dads to see what it looks like. Okay, now I have a question for you guys. I don't remember if you guys saw last year. Remember I did the stools that we found in the dumpster um, with the handprints and gave them to the moms and dads. And um, I did this one for myself. I don't remember if I even showed it. It's an old stool that I found at um, an estate sale. And I'm gonna paint it. This is chalk paint, but I just did the top part um, with the chalk paint and put the feet. So I've got, um, I wanted to have one, two, three, and four when they were all ages one, two, three, and four. So this is Hudson and Ryan. I had a different paint. I forgot to bring this paint when we went to Texas. So messed up, so it's a different paint, but it's okay. But I have room for the new baby to go here or maybe over here, wherever it would be. But my question is, I've got plenty of time. I didn't want my crazy, you know, I wanted different handwriting on there to say their names and the, the year they were. So I'll have a zero, one, two, three, four, which is so cute. Uh, Cause now they're two, two, four and five. Um, so it's just a cute little time that they were all gonna be a different age. But I need something to stencil or something to put on there to put their name in the year. So do you guys have any ideas? What could I do? I've never done a stencil on something like this. I don't wanna mess it up because I mean, I can't change anything there. Um, anyway, I'm gonna have it forever. And I have to paint it because it's, um, I only painted just the top because I just wanted to get the feet on there while they were young. But anyway, that's my project I have to do. So do you guys have any ideas of what I could do? I could do it really tiny with a little paintbrush and just write it, but it's gonna be my handwriting on there. I don't wanna look at that forever. So something cuter would be good. I don't wanna do the cry cat or cricket because I don't want it raised. I don't wanna feel it because I know I'll peel at it. It'll pick it if I feel it on there. So I need something. I just don't know what to do. So anyway, if you have any ideas, let me know. Keep your eye out at estate sales, yard sales, flea markets. Um, and anywhere you go and just think of what could you do for little projects with stuff and just give them another little purpose in life because it's kind of fun and you feel good after you do it, like you accomplish something and you're going to see it forever. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy your life and Merry Christmas, everyone.